no matter how pious you are, no matter how close you are to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will definitely taste a little bit of loss. There has to come a day in your life wherein which you suffer some loss. Because that is part of the plan of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No matter how many prayers you pray a day beyond your farad and that which is compulsory, you will still be tested. And the reason why I start this way is because there are people who say, why is this happening to me when I pray five times a day, as well as tahajjud, as well as my sunnah, as well as my nafil, when I'm honest, when I'm a good person, when I don't cheat, when I don't steal, when I don't hurt people, why can I not get a job? Why have I lost my job? Why did I lose a family member, be it a child or a spouse or a parent or a sibling, whoever it may be? Why did, for example, my factory burn down? Why did, for example, uh, my health degenerate? Allah says, it's got nothing to do with whether you've prayed or not. It's got nothing to do with whether you are close to us or not. In fact, if anything, the closer you get to Allah, a sign of it is that he is going to test you more. The Prophet ﷺ says clearly, so beautifully, إِنَّ اللَّهَ إِذَا أَحَبَّ عَبْدًا إِبْتَلَاهُ When Allah loves his slave, his worshipper, then he tests him, real tests. So you lost your job, you just cannot get another job. Something went wrong in your life, it's just not coming right. Do you know what? Stick in there, don't give up. Continue to obey Allah, become closer to Allah because... Everyone suffers loss. A believer, the days are made easy for him or her. You are content. Someone told you your car was damaged right off. The first thing you said was Alhamdulillah. At least no one was injured. At least, for example, the injury was little. No one lost their lives. You always look at what could have been in terms of being worse. That's a believer. A believer always looks at how... It could have been worse, but it's not. Subhanallah. This is a gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's why we say, don't think because I'm a pious person or because I read Quran every day, I'm not going to be tested. You will be tested, but Allah will give you contentment throughout your test. That is the difference. But if you're not a believer or if your faith is shaking, you become very depressed and stressed and angry and upset and you start questioning Allah and you become distanced from Allah and you throw yourself further into bad habits. Some people resort to drinking and drugs and everything else to intoxicate themselves, to run away from the reality of the problem. But Allah told you, you know what, we have tested the messenger before you, we're going to test all of you.